Okay, so I'm about a mile away, and it looks like Mount Baden-Powell is covered in snow. This will be interesting. Okay, it's Saturday, December 1st, 2018, and I'm heading out to Mount Baden-Powell. about a hundred miles. Today it's taking me about an hour and a half. My directions tell me that it could take around two hours on average, but if you go early, it's a lot better. And there's also some road closures from time to time, so you have to be careful of that. We've had the first snow here in LA for the winter, so hopefully the snow's not too bad on the mountain. Looks like there's gonna be snow probably in the first mile. I can already see it um, from the road. A lot of snow and there's actually chains required in this area. So there's ice on the road. So I'm getting a little concerned. Uh, I just wanna make sure I have my chains. I have about a 26, 27 pound pack. Okay, I'm starting from Vincent Gap. Here we go. So one of the cool things about this hike is it's actually part of the Pacific Crest Trail. So you might see some through hikers on this hike. So we'll see if we see any. So this hike starts with a steep climb. It's funny because right when I started, the snow piles pulled up and uh, they're plowing the road so that tells you how much snow there is and it's only December 1st so we had a lot of rain the last few days and it meant snow up here this is gonna be a workout Okay, there's a lot of climbing in this one. And I'm hitting thicker snow now. So I may put on my micro spikes pretty soon and switch to my ice axe just so I have something to catch, catch me if I slip. I'm a little nervous on this hike because I don't have crampons with me and just micro spikes. So if it gets too steep or if the snow gets too thick, uh, I might have to uh, head back. So we'll see how it goes. It's a beautiful day. The snow is melting as I'm hiking up. Just uh, trekking away. Okay, I'm 0.9 miles in and I finally came across the first bench. Uh, this is probably where I'll put on my winter gear um, just in case more snow kicks in. So I'm always in a rush when I walk out of my uh, house trying to get on the mountain as early as I can. And I guess I forgot my micro spikes. They were on the floor next to my bag. And I just got cell phone reception and uh, my wife Joanne just confirmed <laughs> that I left them at home. So that's not good. Uh, but at least I have my ice axe. And uh, I feel pretty safe um, just with that. But hopefully it doesn't get too icy and slippery. Gonna ask for a more beautiful day. It was supposed to be cloudy around 11, and it's about 11 now. It looks like it might be a clear day all the way through. Uh, we'll see. Okay, I'm getting the system down. Or I keep switching my ice axe 
and I keep it attached to one arm and then I switch the uh, wristband from my trekking pole back and forth uh, just so I can keep the ice axe in my uphill arm uh, so seems to be working pretty well I don't even know if I need the trekking pole but it's nice to have something on the lower end of the slope to keep the balance so I'm hiking away here I'm trying to work on my speed I know I'm a slow hiker so I'm trying to force myself to walk a little faster Okay, I'm just about at the Lamel Springs turnoff and um, almost at two miles, but uh, and definitely get my workout. But it's well worth the view, check it out. One crazy thing about California is you have so many different landscapes. I mean, I can see the Mojave Desert behind me as I'm walking in the snow. And it's crazy to think that you could be freezing up here while you're staring at the desert. <laughs> Okay, I'm at about two and a half miles in and I thought I'd do a little trail check-in on my uh, GPS app just to make sure I'm on the trail but uh, for the most part this trail is really uh, easy to follow and uh, even in the snow and it seems like it gets a lot of traffic on normal days I mean even today I've seen quite a few people uh, so you see their foot marks on the snow and they all seem to be on the trail. So, so far so good. The wind's starting to pick up. I just had to put some uh, some lip balm on, some chapstick, because my uh, every time I do these mountain hikes, the day after my lips get all chapped really bad. So I'm trying to keep. Um, keep my lips protected. I definitely recommend it too. Okay, it's 12.38. I'm at about 3.1 miles now. Um, I'm about a little over two hours in. And uh, I'm doing well. Uh, that last bit, last mile, the snow got thicker and it was a little tougher. Um, and, and it's supposed to get a lot more tough ahead. But uh, I'm not far off. Still feeling good. I'm going to take a little break and get some snacks um, before I make the uh, last mile for the summit. This hike is just amazing. <laughs> Make it up? Yeah. How is it? Two hundred feet. Yeah. Nice. Is there a lot of people up there or no? No. No. Is it, was there any a lot of pot pasta only? Yeah, over the snow. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, thank you. All right, gloves are on. I'm ready to go. 
I'm on my last battery for my camera, so I have to keep recording to a minimum. Uh, so I save battery for the summit. But I'll record the cool parts if I can. Uh, I was just told there's a lot of postoling ahead. So this is gonna be a tough mile. Here we go. Okay, my camera battery died, so I'm using my phone. But uh, it looks like it's running out up there, so I think I'm getting close to the summit. I think I'm around four miles right now. Um, it's very hard getting through the snow, and it looks like there's only been one or two people coming up because there's parts where I can't even find their footsteps. The wind has already covered up. Um, but it's very beautiful up here. Look at the view here, just incredible. Oh, it's an amazing sight to see right in front of me. I almost just gave up because it was getting very icy and it, I saw no footsteps so it looked like nobody really went this far. They stopped it at the uh, tree but glad to make it. Made it to the summit of Mount Baden Powell. It's really a magical day. <laughs> and there's actually a flag up here. I mean, look at this. up here at about 2 30 uh, much longer than I expected but well worth the hike uh, I have to head back now I'm gonna try to eat lunch on the way back I want to get off of the this, uh, summit before I eat I was planning on eating up here but uh, I just want to get down nobody's up here it's too icy so all right I'm heading back down <laughs> This way with the camera and the trekking pole and my ice arms. So you start sliding and you dig in. Okay, I made it back at 4:45. Okay, 
Okay, so that was my winter Mount Baden Powell hike. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.